Let's go live to Montreal where federal conservative leader Pierre Polyev is speaking. Let's listen in. 329 percent, adding $700 million in extra costs on your auto insurance, which is up by $129 a year just to pay for the cost of the, tr of the Trudeau car theft crisis. It has become a quick get quick rich scheme. The cause, one, Justin Trudeau's catch and release system, which allows uh, repeat car thieves to do to get out the same day they're arrested on easy bail. Two, house arrest, which J Justin Trudeau's C C5 allows for repeat auto theft. And three, he's allowed soft sentencing, so that auto thieves are not afraid of even getting caught. Our, yesterday, we announced our common sense reform of the federal criminal code to put the brakes on auto theft. It includes a mandatory three years of jail for three cars stolen. It, it, it means no more house arrest for career car thieves. And it means no, it will mean jail, not bail, jail, not bail for repeat car th career car thieves who are newly arrested on the crime. But the other part of the problem is our ports. And that is why we're here today. Justin Trudeau has unleashed crime and chaos at our ports. His mismanagement of these federal assets has turned ports into parking lots for stolen vehicles. Canadian Border Services Agency is in charge of protecting our borders. But the federal port of Montreal, where the majority of stolen cars leave Canada, only, according to the, the Journal of Montreal, only had five officers to inspect over a half a million containers that leave our country through this port. Insane incompetence. No wonder the crime is out of control. They also only have one x-ray scanner that constantly breaks down. Federal ports in Vancouver, Prince Rupert, Halifax all have similar stories. According to Peel detective Mark Hayward, CBSA checks less than 1% of the, of the boxes that come in and go out. No wonder so many illegal drugs and guns get in and so many of our cars get out. Now, what is Justin Trudeau's solution? Well, he's done the exact opposite of common sense. Despite the rocketing scar, uh, skyrocketing car thefts, uh, Trudeau is, uh, the CBSA is seizing about the same number of cars today at the federal ports of Montreal as they were years ago, frequently ignoring suspicious containers. Back live to Montreal where federal conservative leader Pierre Polyev is taking is questions from do, reporters. A big talker and a little doer when it comes to Ukraine. He's made all these announcements of hundreds of millions of dollars of different equipment that he's never actually delivered. And now we noticed, we know that he embarrassed the Ukrainian president by having a Nazi invited to a major state visit. We also know that Trudeau allowed for Canadian detonators to go to Russia that could detonate and blow up Ukrainians. He approved the export of a turbine refurbished in Montreal to go to Putin and for the purpose of powering his pipelines so that he could sell natural gas to Europe and use the proceeds to fund his war. My common sense plan would, for example, give the Ukrainians missiles that we're disposing of but that they say they can use that will save us money that we won't have to spend on disposal. My common sense plan would sell Canadian natural gas. I will repeal C-69, replace it with a law that consults First Nations, protects the environment, but gets natural gas liquefaction facilities built so that we can send that gas to Europe to break European dependence on Putin and turn dollars for dictators into paychecks for our people in this country. That will bring money home to this country while fighting a, an evil dictator who is invading a, an innocent country. Question, question, next question.
Bonjour, M. Poilier, Pierre saint arnaud de la Presse canadienne. Euh, Question? Récemment, ça, ça donne bien que vous soyez dans le port. Vous savez qu'il y a eu des, euh, des arrêts de travail, des conflits de travail. And you know recently that there was uh, work stoppages and strikes that was janvier, very difficult on the economy. The Chamber of Commerce, the Chamber of Commerce in January asked Mr. Trudeau if he was in favor of a bill les, uh, les grèves dans les ports fédéraux, to prevent strikes uh, at federal ports and prevent their strike right. What do you think about that? J'ai beaucoup de... Well, first of all, I have a lot of compassion for workers because after eight years of Justin Trudeau, the cost of housing has doubled. Here in Montreal, there's been a rent increase of 200%. I can imagine port workers are having such a hard time paying rent that has gone up by 200% in eight years. So I can understand why they want to strike. They have to eat. C'est pas la solution d'avoir des grèves à travers le pays. Having strikes across the country is not the solution, but that's the automatic consequence of inflation. If we look back to the 70s, under Pierre Elliott Trudeau, there were many strikes. Why? Because of inflation. When you print money, you double debt, you cause inflation and workers strike. The first thing is that I would freeze spending and waste to balance the budget and bring the cost of living down for workers, including at our ports. That makes sense. We'll work together with the unions and workers and people who manage the ports in order to improve conditions. We'll try to avoid strikes and improve paychecks. That's our common sense plan. Thank you. So, uh, look, I understand there's a, there was already a strike at the port of Vancouver. Why? Just inflation. Justin Trudeau causes massive inflation. He doubles housing costs, drives two million people to the food bank. What do the workers do? They have to go on strike because they are fighting for the, the food on their children's tables. Just inflation takes food out of the mouths of working class kids. And so their parents sometimes feel desperate in the need to go on strike. Here in Montreal, rent has tripled after eight years of Trudeau. You can understand why the workers would consider striking in order to protect the livelihoods and the, and the well-being of their families. Um, I want to avoid strikes. That's why I will have an anti-inflation policy. I will fix the budget. To, I will cap the spending, cut the waste, balance the budget to bring down inflation and interest rates so that people can pay their bills and they don't have to go on strike. That is common sense. Rob Lurie, CTV. Uh, last time you were here, you referred to the mayor of Montreal as incompetent. Uh, she took umbrage with that remark. Do you have any plans to sit down with the mayor of Montreal and, and mend fences, or do you still maintain that Valerie Plante is incompetent? Well, first of all, I, I, think, I think it's an unfair question because you fail to point out that I have called other mayors from right across the country incompetent. In fact, I think that there are many of the, that there are even more incompetent mayors in other regions of the country. And the problem is that Trudeau keeps giving them our tax dollars. These mayors, let, let's put this into perspective. The city of Vancouver, through its red tape and charges, adds $1.3 million to the cost of every newly built home. That is incompetence. The city of Winnipeg has blocked 2,000 homes right next to a transit station built for those homes. A court decision has overruled that decision. That is incompetence. Here in Montreal, the city has blocked 24,000 homes since Valerie Plant became mayor. Yes, that is incompetent. And so, uh, uh, like the former mayor of Vancouver, the current and inco terribly incompetent mayor of Calgary, who wanted to put a tax on bags the other day, these mayors don't deserve more of our tax dollars to waste and block house home building. My common sense plan is to require cities permit 15% more home building per year as a condition of getting their federal money. I'll require every federally funded transit station be permitted for sky rises so seniors and students can live next to the bus or train. I'll sell off 6,000 federal buildings and thousands of acres of land to build, 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 and I'll tackle the incompetence at the federal agency, CMHC, 
by requiring that they deliver financing for apartments within two months, not two years, and if the executives don't hit We've been listening to federal Conservative leader Pierre Polyev speaking to reporters in Montreal.